Yes. Uh, we'll be yes. looking at foreign trade, isn't it? I would say that foreign trade is trade between two countries. It is not done in one currency, isn't it? Grain. I've the the various types of foreign Today we're going to learn about purchase and sales of goods. If you want to start going into trading, you want to start selling, what are those terms that are associated with commerce, with trading? You understand? Selling of goods and services, what are those terms? What are those documents that are used? Number one, you look at what you call inquiry or letter of inquiry. What is letter of inquiry in trading? Letter of inquiry is written by the buyer to the producer or supplier, asking for information about certain goods which are for sale. You understand? If you are a buyer now, you want to know the goods that are for sale, you want to know their prices, you want to know about them. You understand? You can write a letter of what so inquiry to your supplier or to your producer so that he can do what? Furnish you with information concerning those goods because you want to buy them, you intend to buy them. Those goods are for sale. You understand? You want to know more about them. How do you know more about some goods that you want to buy? By sending what we call a letter of what inquiry. That's what a buyer sends to a supplier or a producer to learn more about the goods that he intend to buy. The goods that the producer has kept for sale. Is that clear? So, letter of inquiry is written by the buyer to the producer or supplier asking for information about certain goods which are for sale. Is that clear? Then, the second term is what we call quotation. What is quotation? Quotation. Quotation is a statement prepared by the supplier of goods or services for a particular order which shows the current price and terms of trade. You understand? If you're a supplier or you're a producer, and you want to supply to a customer, you need to send what to call quotation to that customer. You, you understand? That quotation will indicate the prices of those goods you want to supply to him. He will look at it and know that, yeah, this is the price of this good. This, he will not make decision. So the statement is prepared by the, the supplier of the goods and services. You understand? You give it to the customer. It shows the current price and terms of trade. Inside that statement, you must have the prices of those commodities and the terms, how you're going to deliver it or get it on it. Exactly. So quotation is what the supplier, you understand? gives to the world customer. Unlike this one, the buyer writes to the world producer or supplier. So this one is the other way around. From the world supplier to the world customer. Exactly. Then thirdly we have what we call order. What is order? Order is a statement sent by the buyer to the seller stating the full description and quantity of goods required. Now, after sending the letter of inquiry, knowing about the goods, now you've decided to buy the goods. So you send what you call order. You understand? You send it to you, that is the buyer. You send it to the word seller. You will now state the full description of the goods you want to buy, their quantity and their what prices. You understand? You describe the goods you want to buy. Now we have what to call invoice. What is invoice? Invoice is a commercial document giving a comprehensive summary of a transaction involving sales or process of goods. After buying, you understand? The person selling writes an invoice, you understand, that shows the complete summary of what has gone uh, through. Exactly. When you go to buy, you say write invoice for me. Exactly. Here in T class, right? You have invoice. You can write after selling some things, you write invoice. You understand? Indicating the goods that you've sold, you've sold, their prices and everything, the quantity. It's a summary. Yes, as evidence of a transaction. That's what invoice does. It functions as the evidence of the whole transaction. Exactly. So these are the some of the terms. And documents that are used in buying and selling of goods. Is that clear? It's not restricted to this. We are still going to look at other materials that are used for buying and selling. 
Now, there's another one, number five, known as Pro what? Pro forma invoice. So what is a pro forma invoice? An invoice that what? That is usually submitted before goods are dispersed as a polite as a polite request for payment to be made in advance. When the seller is not willing to sell on credit. And to show the goods. Is it? So that is what a performer invoice is. A performer invoice is an invoice that is usually submitted before goods are dispersed. You understand? Before you give the goods to the customer that wants to buy, you need to do what we call performer invoice. Which is a what polite request for what payment to be made. You want the customer to make some payment or to make the full payment in advance before you give the goods. Is that clear? Because the seller does not want to sell on what credit. Is that clear? So you issue what we call pro forma invoice. Pro forma invoice is simply an invoice that is issued before goods are what dispersed. Very very important. Now we look at what we call statement of account. Look at what statement of account. What is statement of account? This is a document sent by the seller to the buyer. Statement of account is a document sent by the seller to the buyer at a regular interval at a what regular one interval to inform him of all transactions made during a particular period and and the amount exactly. so like i told you these are all terms in trade you understand statement of account what is statement of account any document sent by the seller to the what buyer at regular interval from time to time maybe every two two weeks you understand the seller normally sends it to the buyer. Doing what? Informing him of all transactions that both of them have made within a particular period of time. Let's say two, two weeks. And the amount that he has to do what? Pay. Exactly. So that is what we call statement of account. A document sent by the seller to the buyer at a regular interval to inform him of all transactions made during a particular period and the amount what due. Possibly the buyer buys some credit from the seller, you understand? So he waits after like two weeks, he will supply him with the statement of that, indicating the amount he has to pay so that both of them can continue with the transaction. Exactly. So that is what statement of account is.